Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today we're doing a Planet Zoo Mod Review Part 2 just to see what cool things people have added into Planet Zoo over these past few weeks and I'm really interested to see what these guys have made so far and I gotta say some of these mods are pretty interesting so first we're just gonna start we have no exhibit animals today so we're gonna start with our first animal here in the corner here we've got our pied Peafowl. So here we can see this is the female here of these white spots. Um, Piebald is like a morph that you can get of a lot of animals where they just get random white patches along their body. So you can see it here on the female. I don't know if you see any on the babies. They're quite cute, aren't they? Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any on the babies, but I know there's some on the male. Let's look at the male over here. We can see it. We can see the white patches coming around here, and on the wing here. That's on the female. That's not the male. We have to find the male. There he is. You can see on the male here. He's really got it. So a lot of the feathers that he's got, his tail feathers are quite white here, and we can see some along the face and on the wing. Yeah, the thing is just piebald. This doesn't really add too much. It just adds a new morph. So you can have a little bit more variation. It'd be cool to see piebald as a download uh, variation in the future, like different skins. So you could have like a different skin variations for all of them. That would be awesome. Like not just albino, piebald, melanistic, just different color morphs that you get with the animal naturally. That'd be awesome. Oh, see, look, there's a good uh, view of his um, tail feathers. See how white they are. See if you do it again. Are you going to show us your white tail feathers? Or are you just going to chill? See the movements in there are real good. It's a real great game. It's almost like looking to a real animal. I think nah, I think we'll just move on then. Oh here we've got uh, melanistic lions. So we can see the cubs are just normal colours. Aren't you guys cute? Look at you, adorable. So here we can see the melanistic female. Now there's like two versions, you can get the melanistic li uh, lioness and you can get the ghost and black male lion. So here we've just got the black female, melanistic. You can see the light patterning and such. Actually looks pretty good. Let's see the other one, see if she's walking around or she's lying. Of course she's lying down. That's just what cats spend 90% of their day doing. Just lying around. So you can see here, yeah, it's just darkened up a bit. Looks quite nice. Really hope one of them stands up so I can get a good look. And then we'll have a look at the male while waiting. See, they got this ghost color. Now, isn't that frightening? You can see there's like a population of white lions. It's a morph. And we can see um, this cool morph here. Just like a gray. That's why it's called ghost. See with the nice mane, darker mane. Real nice looking color actually. If you want you if you want to spice up your lines a little bit, you can add these. These work well. Just wanna wait for one of you guys to look up. Well we'll have a look at our cute little cubs. Growl. Just walking around doing her thing. Oh, now she's lying down. Where are you off to? Oh, that actually is getting up by the looks of it. So that we get a better look. <laughs> she just got up to sit down again. Wow. And then we can see the darker and even some little white spots around the face here. There's a little bit more variation. Just that with her, even though she's pooping. Or vet, well not the vets, the keepers will come clear that up. So you can see the colours. For some reason the first shade is a little bit bugged a bit when you try to mod it, but I'm sure that'll be fixed eventually. But that's no, quite a nice skin. 
So we'll be moving on next to one of our newer animals. Now I believe these two are pretty sure are done by Pure Winter or someone. I'll put the links in the description of course. And we see here another one. We have the, the Alpine. I think it's Alpine or Domestic Goat. Either or. But we can see here we've got the brown female. It's got a nice brown colour. Replaces the doll sheep of course. And we can see here. See a little... This must be a little female here, cushy brown. Check. Oh, it's a little male actually. We baby. Quite cute. You give it a licky. This is the brown female and the young. And we can see the black male here. It looks a bit scratched up, but he's alright. This is the uh just darker male. It's meant to be look like alpine or domestic goats. Doesn't look too bad. I quite like it. Solid. So now we'll be moving on to one of our more newer animals. Here we've got a black and white ruffed lemur. So they're not too different from the red ruffed lemur. Are you, you're quite big, aren't you? You're a big female. Hmm. A little bit scratched up. But I think you'll be right. And they sit there and meditate as you get groomed. <laughs> you can see a clear difference between the red and the black and white. Obviously the colors are a big difference. They're both pretty big um, for lemur size. One of the larger lemur, uh, lemurs. And the di main difference in terms of like... These guys have a little bit more of a restrictive range. These guys are found pretty much around eastern the eastern coast of Madagascar but these those guys are just have a little bit more of a restrictive range these guys are just a little bit wider spread but not as populous and obviously being quite endangered as well critically endangered feeding running climbing around the trees feeding a lot of fruits and such and being a large lemur they're often hunted for bush meat and also the other problems of poaching and um, habitat destruction are really affecting their population in the wild that's why they're critically endangered. So a nice animal to see. There's a nice little one that's not scarred up. Looking quite beautiful actually. It's actually a really good mod. The first texture's not looking too bad. I think it's just because it's a colour swap. See you climb up something. I wish you can have a drink. She just walked on water. Oh. See, this only replaces the female, so this is the female here, and that's the male. And Lima hierarchy is the female, is pretty much the boss. Which is kind of the opposite of a lot of other animals. I want to see you climb something. But you've got your two climbing frames over there. You've got you something you can climb here. You're just going to sit and bask. <laughs> Just get groomed. <laughs> I'm gonna poop again. Of course you are. You're stepping in it too. See if we can get you something to climb. I'm sure you climb that. Gonna go for it. I like this chill vibe you got going. I give you a new climbing frame and you don't even use it. Okay, 
Come on, would you do it for me? Come on, cutie. We're gonna sit and ooh, sit and groom yourself. Assuming the male's coming over for a looky loo. Oh, that's cute. See, it's really starting to work with these new animations. Make them look so much better. Just a little bit more variation within these animations, give them a little bit more life. I don't see why you're not gonna climb. You know what? You're gonna be cheeky and not gonna. See if the other one's climbing about. Not quite yet. Nah. We'll move on to the next one. So here we got next. We've got our American black bear, which replaces the female Formosan's black bear. Which is obviously not too different. This must be the male. Yep. You can see the good Formosans. And here is our good black bear. It's not too much of a difference. Really just a little bit of a longer snout and not the... doesn't really have the uh, chest plate in the middle like the Formosans does. Now obviously black bears are found all across America and Canada. They are quite common and they pretty much feed on anything. Feed on... Um, just anything they can find really fish eggs plants berries all that they can quite well known so I don't really need to explain it to everyone very cool animal I like the sleeping quite cute there's the male coming around She have a nice sleep. Cute. I think we'll move on to the next animal here. Now we've got a Roosevelt elk, which has come with pretty much all new stages. Here we've got our female here. Based off the reindeer, we can see the changes here. We've got the, uh, it's a little, I think it's a little bit larger. I don't know if the sizes have changed yet, but a bigger. Here we've got a, uh, not quite as shaggy, got rid of the antlers, because only, because both male and female reindeer have antlers, but only the male elk have antlers, so they've got rid of them. We can see the different colors here. They've got a lighter body and darker head and feet. You can see the female there. And we can see a little fawn sitting there. It's quite cute. There's another one over there that should be moving around. Unless you've grown up. No, oh, you're cute. You see the splotch patterning on it. It's quite adorable. And we see our big impressive male over there. Look at his big antlers. Now Roosevelt out are one of the bigger elk. It's a very nice animal. Very famous for being so interesting. Was known as the white party, and I'm pretty sure that there's a bunch of different variation within these antlers. There's like five or six different variations in there, so this is just one of them. Really impressive uh, antler set. It's pretty awesome. So this is probably one of the more impressive mods coming out. If, I, if it wasn't only for the few coming up, which I don't want to spoil. So I think we're done here. I like how they're herding together now. Having a chill and doing their thing. So next we have got the scimitar horned or oryx, or just the scimitar oryx, which is a species of onyx, of course, from sub-Saharan Africa, or not sub-Saharan Africa, but like semi-desert areas like North Africa, and is 
quite famous for being critically endangered. They were extinct in the wild for a decent amount of time until they were reintroduced into certain parks around the country, like around the end of North Africa. A lot of zoos, like the San Diego Zoo, and really had a big breeding program to try and breed them back and release them to the wild, which has been pretty successful. And they're doing okay. And I really like the... There's, there's a good comparison with the Gemsbok and the uh, Cemetery Horn. You can see it's got a nice uh, different patterning. We can see the light orange and then the light going around the back. And the horns are definitely as well. Cemetery is quite curved versus the straight ones on the Gemsbok. So that basically just goes straight up. Not quite as this a lot more basic patterning still a very nice looking animal and yeah adapted for living in the desert semi-desert feeding on whenever it can whatever plants that can get its grubby little hooves on yeah i really hope this is pretty critically endangered there's only a few hundred thousand not a few hundred thousand but no more than a few thousand left and i really hope that their population grows in the future and they don't even need to rely on people so it'd be cool to see them back in the wild in a capacity, but they don't need to be managed in parks. Speaking of critically endangered animals, here we've got the Proswalski's horse, which is, believe it or not, one of the only real quote-unquote wild horses left. Because it's actually believed to be a descendant of some really, really ba uh, early domestic horses and just lived in Mongolia. So yeah, these from the steppes of Mongolia. Very beautiful. It's very distinctive with the patterning here. I'm pretty sure this is a female. Yep. It's quite orange. It's got shorter legs. A little bit more stockier and bulkier than normal horses. So you can see the female here. See if this is the male. The male should be here. Yeah, this is the male. Alpha male. We'll see the white around the face and the orange down here. This little stripe's going down there. It looks quite nice, actually. Very beautiful. And we can see the foal. So, yeah. A little bit lighter and cute. Quite lanky as well. Adorable. And, yeah, this was also being found around the set. These were hunted and weren't very high populations to begin with. Then they went extinct in the wild and similar in places also like San Diego Zoo and other zoos around the world caught them and bred them in captivity and then released them into parks around Mongolia so yeah lots of zoos have been really doing their best to try and help species like the scimitar horned oryx and the Przewalski's horse to survive into the future and it's quite a nice little herd we've got going here it's a very nice little mod I think this one was done by Pure Winter as well. Of course, I put all the links in the description. But no, very, very nice. I like it. We like it a lot. And here, we've got one by my friend Digital Duck. And this is an extinct animal this time. And you'll be seeing this is a Smilodon. So here, we're going to start with the female. There's like four different variations. There's this uh, spotted variation. There's a striped one and then a bear one. And then a melanistic one. So here we can see, um, this is supposed to be Smilodon populatar, which is the largest species from South America. And we can see it's got actually pretty correct anatomy, considering it has to fit to a rig of a, a Siberian tiger. We can see here it's got the longer neck, the very bulky uh, forelimbs, and the shorter body. Very nice. Because the thing about Smilodon populatar is that it was very, very bulky for killing very big animals. Animals potentially much larger than itself. Probably live something in the ton range. Just because it's built, how it would hunt is that these long saber teeth, these long canines, there's a big male there, they would pretty much try to pin them with their big forearms and then they would bite that on their necks with these long canines to try and sever the jugular and windpipe and kill it before it could really start to struggle and run around. So you can see a little baby following mum. Very interesting Smilodon. I quite like this spotted pattern. That's probably the most accurate considering its habitat. Living in the open grasslands of South America. So you can see a little cub. 
It's quite cute, ain't he? You also know that, um... Well, oh, cinematic. That wasn't working properly. I think I must have been holding it wrong. Oh. I wanted to see a good picture of you. You're just running around so we can see the cutie. You see this one's the striped pattern. It's just copied from the tiger, which is probably not very accurate considering tigers and smiled on populace are probably lived in very different habitats. Still very cute though, you can really see the canines coming in. I think they were probably lethal um, at about, what was it? I think it's about a year old or something, eight months or so. Once they got big enough to kill their prey. And then we can see our big male here. And I like him, he's a 91% male. I'm really glad I picked him out. Still got that basic patterning. But he's also got a little bit of striping as well. A little bit of variation within them. Very big boy. You can really see his big, big shoulders and shorter back. See him sitting there. Just loving life. Might have to take a picture of him for this thumbnail when I get a chance. Probably after this video. Yeah, I'll just let watch them sing and hang out for a bit. I see mum, dad and the baby. That's quite cute. I love look at dad because he's the biggest and most impressive. Now these smiled on popular tiger are huge. I think it's about, there was actually a paper recently that found one that was probably in excess of 400 kilos. So a very, very big, strong animal. Oh, now he's running. Yeah, so I think that's about, that's it for us today. Well, hopefully you guys like this video. Of course, I'll link these mods in the description. And thank you for everyone who made these mods. These are all really great. And hopefully you guys like and subscribe. And bye-bye.